In this video, we're going to look at grouping tracks in Pro Tools. When you create a group in Pro Tools, you can choose either a mix group, an edit group, or a combination of the two. To create a group, simply select the tracks you want to include in the group. For example, here I'll select my drums and my drum loop tracks. Then I can either choose New Group from the Group List pop-up menu, or press Command-G on the Mac or Control-G on Windows. Then the Create Group dialog will appear. Here I'll enter a name for the group, select a group ID. The default is the next available ID, but you can override it by selecting one manually. So for example, here I could choose Group D instead of Group A. Then I can set the type to either Edit, Mix, or a combination of the two. In the Tracks Display section, I can see the tracks that I've currently selected to add to this group. At this point, I can still choose to add or remove tracks before I create the group. Assuming you're happy with the tracks that you have selected, you simply click OK and the new group will be created. Because I created a combination Edit and Mix group, I can see the Drums group in both the Edit Windows groups list and in the Mix Windows groups list. An Edit group groups certain track parameters by default. A few examples are the Track View, the track height, track time base settings, creating selections, audio and MIDI editing functions. Some parameters that are linked in a mix group include the main volume level, the track mute setting, and the track automation mode. Let's quickly create a couple of additional groups. I'll combine my synth bass and electric bass tracks into a group. And I'll also combine my keyboard tracks into a group. To activate or deactivate groups, I simply select or deselect them in the group list. In this case, the basses group is active and the drums and keys are inactive. If I want to temporarily suspend all groups, I can go to the group list pop-up menu and choose Suspend All Groups, or I can press Command-Shift-G on the Mac or Control-Shift-G on Windows. As you can see, the group names will become dimmed to show that all groups are suspended. Then I can go back to the pop-up menu and deselect suspend all groups to make them active again. To view group membership in the mix window, I can look at the group IDs just above the pan controls on the track. If a track only belongs to one group, the group ID is shown in lowercase. If a track belongs to multiple groups, the group ID is shown in uppercase. You can click on the group ID to see all of the groups that the track belongs to. In this case, my loop tracks belong to both loops and drums. To quickly select the members of a group, simply click in the column to the far left of the group list. This can be extremely useful in combination with key commands like do to select it. There are several ways to modify an existing group. You can go to the group list pop-up menu and choose modify groups, or you can press control command G on the Mac or control start G on Windows, or you can right click on the group name and choose modify. Then the Modify Groups dialog will appear, and you can modify any of the group parameters, like the group name, the ID, the group type, or even change track membership for the group. To delete a group, simply right-click the group name in the group list, or go to the Mix window, click on the group ID, and choose Delete from the pop-up menu. A warning message will appear asking you to confirm that you want to delete the group. Here you can click Cancel to keep the group, or Delete to delete it. In every Pro Tools session, you'll find the All group. When the All group is active, all tracks are grouped regardless of their membership in other groups in the session. This means that all of the tracks can be edited together and mixed together as well. So that's a basic overview of group functionality in Pro Tools.